On the Business Courier front page centerpiece this week, for out-of-town developers, it appears that Cincinnati is the land of opportunity. In recent years, Cincinnati has lured a dozen out-of-town developers from Kansas to New York. It's clear they're here and they like what they see. The lure includes growing rental rates, declining vacancy, strong, consistent job growth, and historic buildings. Projects by out-of-town developers represent more than $300 million in investments from the Central Business District to Hebron and from Oakley to Deerfield Township. Developers coming to Cincinnati are focused on two hot segments, luxury apartments and industrial distribution. The wave of newcomers has changed the market by pushing up rents, bringing new ideas for amenities and design, and giving renters more options. And Cincinnati also has an active group of homegrown developers. One of them, Arne Bortz from Town Properties, says the influx of new developers is an expression of confidence in the future of Cincinnati, something he calls a healthy thing. Business Courier reporter Tom Demeropoulos covers real estate and wrote this story. He joins Business Watch producer Kelly Leon in the studio with more. Tom Kelly. Thanks, Tom. Thanks for being here this morning. Interesting article. Oh, thank you. Um, in terms of other cities, how does Cincinnati stack up? Give us some perspective on that. So Cincinnati is a little bit behind our peers in terms of the amount of development that's taking place in Cincinnati. Uh, when you kind of look at the numbers, we are definitely uh, trailing our uh, neighbor to the west in oh. Indianapolis, and we're definitely trailing our neighbor to the north in Columbus, especially in multifamily development. Uh, if you look at the numbers, Cincinnati is averaging about 100 new apartments uh, per year. Columbus or Indianapolis is averaging about 3,300, so a lot more. In terms of our pipeline of development, Cincinnati uh, has about 6,000 units in the works. Columbus has more than doubled that. Why is that? Uh, you know, there are a couple of reasons that, uh, that that's come up, and I think one of the big things is that uh, Cincinnati uh, municipalities, the different uh, you know cities and townships around here, they're very stringent on kind of what they want in their community. Mm. Uh, it's kind of a barrier to entry for a lot of developers because they require such high quality products that can kind of stand the test of time. Uh, that's not to say that Indian Columbus don't worry about that, but yeah. it's, it's not as stringent from what I've been told uh, from developers who've worked in those other markets and have come here. But I got the impression from this story that, that developers really do want to be here, that this is a very desirable market. Absolutely. You know, if you look at kind of the fundamentals of Cincinnati, our, uh, you know, our vacancy rates are low, yeah. uh, our landlords are getting more money for their, uh, their buildings. Mm -hmm. So. That, that's really what's kind of driving us. They have to make sure that it makes sense to be here financially before they kind of jump in and try to learn the market and get connected and find out what will be a good site for their projects. Is it a welcoming community, like the other developers and the, the, the building owners in terms of? It has been. I, I think that a lot of people kind of, uh, you know, uh, some people joke you know, tongue in cheek that we're going to try to do this in other markets now that these developers have come to our city. But honestly, I think they they know that the, there's a, a, a large level of demand for especially multifamily development and industrial development. So uh, no one is is you know sitting on their hands going, wow, I wish we could be doing some of this work. Everybody's very active. So and I've got to ask you one last question. So many developers from Indy. What, six, I think you said? Six yeah, developers? at least six. Why? why? You know, there's a couple reasons why I think Indy uh, makes sense. Indy, for, for whatever reason, you know, different cities have kind of different hubs of, of development. Mm -hmm. uh, Indy's just a good, they've got a lot of quality multifamily developers that are based there. That market is very, very competitive. So I think as those builders and those developers have kind of looked at their market and said, wow, we can't really do a lot more here. Uh, Cincinnati is, is kind of right next door. It's an easy drive. It's a you know two-hour drive. Yeah. It's a good-sized market. Uh, yeah. it's, a, it's a lot bigger than Louisville. It's uh, not Chicago, which Chicago is kind of its own animal. Yeah. So they look at Cincinnati and go, and Cincinnati, like I said, is not building nearly the number of units that Indy has been building. So yeah. they're seeing opportunity. All right. Well, great. And it's great to see these old buildings come back to life. So definitely great story. Yeah.